This dog is now in safe hands after a local family discovered her in their trash can a few days ago. She's been named chocolate and is now receiving medical care at the Jacksonville Humane Society. News for Jacks reporter Ariel Schiller joins us after speaking with a family who found chocolate and the Humane Society about this case. And Ariel, there's some good news to share. Yes, Joy, that's right. Chocolate story has an upsetting start in a trash can just like this one. But thankfully, she has an adopter lined up once she gets healthy. The Humane Society is reminding people that they're available to help if you ever find an animal in poor condition. Chocolate the dog has a sweet life ahead of her. But her story starts when the Leverance family found her in their trash can several mornings ago. Jackson was taking the trash out to the curb when he heard whimpering coming from the trash can. He went inside to alert his parents to what he heard. When you went to go and in investigate with your family, what, what did you guys find? Um, a dog really skinny, about a year old, terrible condition, looked really mean, and scars and cuts all over. The house is hidden from the main road down several streets in an Arlington neighborhood. It's also at the end of a street near a cul-de-sac. Jackson's dad, Patrick, says nothing like this has ever happened before. I have my ideas why I think they did, but, I mean, who knows why they actually picked our trash can out of every house on the block. I don't know if it's laziness or if it's evil, but it's just there's so many other things that you can do with that dog than putting it in a trash can. Even after being discarded like literal trash, Chocolate was as sweet as the treat she's named after. As soon as we got her out and she realized she was safe, she was cuddling up to us and, you know, she was, she was great. I wish we could have kept her, but we just couldn't. On Saturday, the Leverins took Chocolate to the Jacksonville Humane Society where she got her name and medical treatment. She's still under medical treatment currently. Lindsay Landecker, director of development for JHS, says if you find a pet or if you think you can't keep your own pet anymore, there are resources available to help. We have a lot of programs in place to help people. We like to meet people where they are. We're not going to be judgmental or shame anyone. We really do want to be the bridge that keeps pets and people together. While there are still unanswered questions about how chocolate ended up in the Leverins' trash can, Landecker says Jackson did exactly what he needed to get her into safe hands. He heard something and he told someone and they did something. So I think that's the little nugget of gold in that story is that the family took action and brought the dog here to JHS. So we are very grateful, very thankful that they did that. Now, the Humane Society says they are working with their partners with Animal Care and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office with this case and that the investigation is ongoing. I've reached out to both of those agencies through email, but haven't heard back at this time. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station.